Today's April 27th, 2019, and this is episode 116 of Plane Savers! Well, hello everybody. We are back in the hangar, which is super nice. Stella's back on the wing. And we are back in business. We're waiting on Eve y'all to bring us some parts. And we'll introduce you to Jay. And uh, we're going to get this uh, day going. So Simon's been working on the tail, but not in the way you might think. Making it look like a barn here. Uh, this is uh, the side effect of having an aircraft outside. Birds and 30 years of birds, generation. This is a family home for generations. So this is something, this is something you will not see um, in a new aircraft. This is a, a phenomenon that is definitely warbird related as uh, aircraft that are of a certain vintage tend to hang out in areas that are um, prone to this stuff, so yeah. So you can imagine any, almost every warbird you've seen at air shows, big fancy ones and stuff like that, at some point uh, in their life cycle would have to be in a situation like this. Okay, we got Evie all here. Michelle? Hey, nice to meet well, you. thank you. My pleasure. So yesterday, uh, when Stella was picking up Jay, uh, the Montreal traffic, which is very famous, <laughs> I guess, uh, there was an extra hour. Um, so Michelle made it, um, made the call that he would spend his Saturday morning coming in and deliver the box. So thank you very much. Uh, let, let's see what's inside. Oh wow. All kinds of uh, rivets, rib nuts that you order as well. Oh. So it's all going to be ready to be installed on the airplane. Cool. So Simon's up there right now. He's on the rudder. Uh, we're waiting for the UPS store to open uh, here in the next 35 minutes to see if the metal pieces came in uh, overnight from Red Deer. So thank you. You saved the day. Normally AVL is open on Monday, but uh, they made a special case today, and so I can't thank them enough. Thank you guys. You guys have been amazing the whole entire time. All right. So thank you very much. Good. So Bobby. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. You met Jay yet? Yes, I just did. Hey, Wonderful we? fellow. He said hi to me first. Everybody, Jay's here. Jay from Thunder Bay. Hey Mike. Made it all the way. Made it all the way. So Jay is uh, one of I think. One of the first people I called outside of a, the McBrien family uh, once I heard about the project, project, right? I called you right away, didn't yep. I? Because Jay has saved my bacon in Hickory, North Carolina. And in, uh, where were we in Spain? Port Salamanca. Salamanca, Spain. Anywhere else? Did we go anywhere else? No, not outside Yellowknife. Not outside Yellowknife. So Jay is uh, the hired mercenary. Normally, normally works on mostly twin otter parts in the manufacturing thing. No. But Jay has a very colorful past and very colorful meaning green. So Jay's been working with a buffalo. When was the first time? 89. 1989. 89 on ROD when we got ROD going. The last time the Calgary Flames won the Stanley Cup. 89. Randy McDonald's mustache. All the best parts of 89. So uh, yeah, so Rod apprenticed under you? Yep. And you guys worked in Alaska, DC-4s? Alaska, all over the north, DC-4s. Cool. Was a long time ago now. A long time ago now, yeah. Well, ever since this thing quit flying, so. Okay, Jay, you found something? I think it's Johnny Be Good. What do we got here? We got, oh, da, 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 that's a B. Oh my lordy. Johnny be good. <laughs> Johnny be good. So folks, that is uh, a problem. If you ever watch Mayday, um, bees getting into the pedostatic system. Uh, and that's why we have to do an inspection. We gotta go through and open up all the panels to make sure nothing that was alive uh, is being jeopardized in either situation. So uh, even though that seems kind of crazy, that is a huge plus. Ronnie pulled the uh, drain cocks out of the fuel tanks. They've been sitting empty for so long that you want to make sure there's nothing, uh, no corrosion in there, no water, no dirt. Okay, folks, for the people that don't know what a drain cock is, we got these, uh, these little uh, valves here that sit at the very bottom of the fuel tank and you can press on them. They're, they're not in right now. In fact, AVL just brought us some new ones. So you press on it and fuel comes out. And what that does is water is heavier than fuel. So water will come out before uh, the fuel so it helps you relieve the water from the tanks so there we go so Jay can demonstrate there you go now push up and that's the fuel comes out so every morning my father comes to DC3 
He uh, takes that out and looks for how much water is in the tank. What, t what tool are you using? This one right now is the Binford 600 lock wire pick, which is adjustable and can be purchased at any AVL store. I can't thank AVL enough, especially uh, Michelle and Pascal, who've been working around the clock helping us with the parts. Um, these are what we need to put the tail back together. Uh, it is quarter to 10. Uh, the UPS store opens at 10. It is Saturday today, so I'm hoping to get the metal parts in. So what are we seeing under here? It's a bell crank for the ailerons. If you can point it up in there. So this bracket, either from sitting in the wind or just time, you can see that movement there. So we want to take that apart, rebush it, or put a new uh, a new bracket in. What does it control? This aileron control. So the bell crank up in the cockpit when the pilots go left, right, transfers to the cable, runs out into the wings, and gets you wings up, wings down. Pull the other one out, Mike. This one? Pull this one? The other one behind it. up to the cable inside the wing and then outward to the aileron. Eyesight. That's what I need. Better eyesight. Mikey, you should take a probe instead of a camera. No? Ha 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 ha. Mais je So we're chasing a power. Presently we're, we have power on the battery bus, but we don't have power to the next uh, distribution box. So we're stuck. We have to find uh, what caused this. Is that a relay? Is that a switch? Is this a wire? And we still don't have the proper diagram. So we're chasing ghosts. It's Ghostbusters. And Fred, we do have one light. Yeah. That means uh, the external power is connected and uh, it's feeding one of the relay, but we still don't have the distribution after that. It's annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> Bobby and Benjamin. Yes. Good morning. BBs. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So Good Bobby, evening. any uh, any comments or anything from the YouTube comments you wanna? mention or is all good or words of wisdom the little funny thing on the front is an antenna <laughs> for some radio on the nose and somebody asked for uh, somebody asked about soldering connections on wiring harnesses it is done but very rarely because it's easier to to uh, control the quality of a crimp connection than it is of a sol soldered connection so says the avionics people and we'll get you some shots of the cockpit uh, propeller mixture and power levers connected to the underneath with the cable somebody wanted to see that so we'll get some of that probably tomorrow maybe all right bye for now how's it going up there pretty good we're uh, making her look really good you know so on june 6th she'll look real sexy we'll be proud of her we'll be proud of the work we did and it's going to be uh, some kind of an appreciation for the people that flew her during the war. Eh? So, thumbs up. And Jay, you're over on the engine? Oui, oui. What's happening? Oh, just trying to button up this exhaust clamp. Make an old fit new. So what did you discover underneath? Did we have to order a part? Yeah, the... Um bell crank lever let's call it between the left and right aileron rear cable aft cable is worn so Ronnie's got a part number out of the IPC and 1-800 Mark LaFond please send ASAP Mark LaFond's our partsman in Yellowknife uh, so he's uh, kind of uh, hopefully having enjoying the weekend because Monday morning he's gonna get a list of parts as uh, we're finding things, AJ. Right, and it's a good thing that Mark actually speaks French. Oh, yeah. 
So anybody can, from here can order from here. <laughs> That's good. We're also compiling a new Aviol list. Um, oh, I got a time lapse going. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so we're going to have a different direct access Cool. Okay. When's Grandpa Chuck going to come help us? Well, I don't know if Chuck's watching on YouTube. Maybe we should make a call out to him. I'm out here. Come on, Chuck. Give us a hand, please. Oh, Chuck, he's, he's, you know, he's got all the revenue airplanes. We need Uncle Chucky. Uh, my, I'm right here. What's happening, Pierre? Yes, we'll test the fuel booster pump now. Fuel, fuel boost pump? Yes. Electric boost pumps. So it, each engine has a engine driven boost pump which is driven through the accessory case to pump fuel pressure to the carburetor in the event that it fails you need a backup so there's an elect electric one per side and you also use that to purge the fuel system so electric boost pump down underneath where you just were That definitely sound like a boost pump. Yay! What do you think, Bobby? I think it's fantastic. They work. <laughs> we must have put them in right. And they're just ringing wires out. So it looks like we got power to both boost pumps. Milestone? Milestone. First day? First day. Now we get some fuel in the tanks. Boost pump pumps some fuel through the lines, all the new lines. And only three fluids we need. Fuel, oil, and hydraulic. They make smoke. What's going on, Jay? You feel the blinds come up and you'll see this buzz box go. It's an ignition vibrator to supply a ton of sparks to the spark plugs for starting. Where, where's the buzz box? This is the vibration. Over right here? Ignition vibrator. All right. On left. There we go. She's a go. Here. <laughs> How's it good? Do you feel a lot better? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Pierre's been hiding all episode. Every time I turn the camera on, he runs away. <laughs> but at least he's smiling now. <laughs> he's smiling. He's got sparks. So what does the vibrator do? Vibrator supplies a ton of sparks to the spark plugs for starting. Otherwise, the propeller's going so slow on starting, it's a fire here, fire there, down here, over there where this one gets a ton of a shower of sparks. It's a milestone, basically. <laughs> it's great It's great to hear something from coming up from this aircraft. So what kind of process, like, can you step, like, very quickly? What did you start with? What did you do? And what was the outcome? Well, uh, Pierre figured out that when we were connecting the external power, the buses were not connected. So we found a couple of discrepancies with the wires, with the switches. So that's fixed now and uh, that's something. After that, we went to the fuel boost pump, the starter relays. Uh, so step by step, system by system, we're going forward. A lot better than you were a few hours ago? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting more optimistic. Okay, Pierre, this morning, what was going through your head? How did you feel? Uh, this morning, uh, I will say uh, that I was a little bit sick uh, because I, was, I, had, I had a cold. We had a problem with the master relay. Part of the switch was not working and there were two, two wires that were mixed. But we have, we have solved the problem. But, uh, when uh, all the, the circuit uh, seems to work, this uh, gives me a boost of energy, and uh, yes, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. Bob, Bobby, where are you going, Bobby? I'm going to pick up the kid. OK. I got responsibilities. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And Benjamin? Yes. You've been working hard? Yes, four days on the door now. <laughs> And and door is finally, going good. Finally, seems to work. The only thing missing now is a handrail on this side. Ah, oh, it's really nice. It's my first plane, in fact. 
So I'm pretty lucky uh, to work uh, in, uh, on a DC-3 as uh, my first plane. I'm pretty... Uh, Wait a second, this is your very first yeah, aircraft? very first aircraft. I'm working uh, seriously on it. Yeah, I never, I, I've never touched an aircraft to work on it before the, this, uh, this plane. I'm in engineering, so we don't... Uh, I'm not in a mechanic, so we don't uh, touch... Uh, we don't use to play uh, to touch planes. We we are used to uh, design on CATIA on the uh, computers. So. Oh wow! So that's why now you got some bragging rights. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Simon, what happened today? Ah, uh, today's plan. Hi. <laughs> today's plan was to uh, fix the rudder rudder post structure, but uh, unfortunately the parts never came in. So we did something else. Get yeah, busy. How was how's the nest? <laughs> it was big, eh? It was big. You got that on video? Yeah. Like cool. two, uh, two pounds or something. <laughs> A good nest. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so Dom, the tail. We couldn't get her done today. Better luck next week. It's part of the game. We wait for the parts. Uh, we're going to fix that when we receive the parts. It's always the, the issue, waiting for parts. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you for coming in. You're welcome. Cheers. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> so, unfortunately, even though the boys in Red Deer got the parts ready in time, the whole nine yards, luck of the draw. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, in the mix of stuff, we didn't get the thing on time. It is Saturday, and that's just how Saturdays are, folks. But it'll be ready first thing Monday morning. Uh, box from Red Deer, Whew, and that's this way go. So, big thank you, Davey. All huge thank you to everybody. Uh, well, actually, before I send off, I'm going to go talk to Jay, see how Jay's first day went. And Stella, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm painting airplanes like always. Well, we got quite a bit done. Lots, uh, lots to look at after 30-some years of sitting. Broke a lot of cables free. Lots of LPS. Things are moving. They got power now to boost pumps, both engines. Uh, everything but the starter, I think we're checking for electrical. Looks like Stella's got the paint flying here. The Canada White's coming back, and uh, pretty good for a uh, for first day. Pretty what's good on, Saturday. What's on the go for tomorrow? Uh, keep hooking things up on the engines, and um, just keep looking for little things that might have been taken off over the years and not noticed. All eyes, all eyes open. Want to say goodbye to everybody? See everybody. See Amanda. See Tana. See you, Dust. <laughs>